Now the third type of error is logical error. A program is ready to be executed once the syntax errors and runtime errors are removed. So what I told is now during compilation time the source code will be converted to machine code or machine language. So after which the program will be ready for execution. So a program is ready to be executed once the syntax errors and runtime errors are removed. So when the program will be ready for execution is after the removal of syntax errors and runtime errors. However, this might not always yield the desired results. So after the removal of syntax errors and runtime errors also, there will be some other kind of error left in a program. So a logical error is a bug in a program that causes it to operate incorrectly but not to terminate abnormally. So after the removal of syntax errors and runtime error, another kind of error also will be checked that is logical error. And sometimes this logical error will create some sort of problem by displaying the output which is incorrect. So it will display the output but it will display abnormally. So that means incorrect output will be displayed because of the logical error. So a logical error produces undesired output or other behavior. So now if after the removal of syntax error and runtime error also if a program is displaying incorrect output there in a screen at that time what we can know is there is some more errors left there in a program segment which is called as logical error. So because of which the problem problem will be created. So a few of the reasons for the occurrence of such logical errors are listed in page number 13. So just check the, the type of errors or the occurrence of these logical errors. So I'll be giving one example that is now while writing a program we have to check everything. So even semicolon will make a difference in a program. So now while execution of a program if in place of curly braces if you forget and if you put square bra bracket instead of curly braces. So this will create some sort of problem during the execution of a program. So this will execute the output there in a computer screen but it will be incorrect. So it will execute wrong output. So wrong expression formation placing of parenthesis. So because of these some logical errors may be there in a program or some logical error might be created during the program. So another example is wrong sequence of instructions or statements. Sometimes we forget and we write different statements in place of another statement which has to be there in that particular portion. So at that time also these logical errors will, will display the wrong output there in a computer screen. So these are the three different types of errors which will be there in a program or there in a Java program. So while writing a program we have to keep this in mind that errors will be created and these errors will create a lot and lot of problem during the execution of program. So while writing a Java program we have to keep in mind so, so we have to 
check each and everything whatever we write in a program so now during the execution of the program if we make any mistake we can easily see there in the the compilation during the compilation time before the compilation after the compilation and during the execution of a program we can easily see the errors if we have made while writing a java programs so my dear students you can just refer page number 13 for further details in errors in programs so you can go through this topic given in page number 13 so kindly refer this page and kindly go through this topic in much detail with an example so i'll be starting a new topic in upcoming class that is introduction to blue jay so we'll be doing that in upcoming class till then stay safe stay at home dedicate your time in studies and revise all the things whatever is taught till now for this chapter thank you